Hadoop is a distributed computing system that has become increasingly popular in recent years, especially for processing and analyzing large datasets. In this video, we'll be exploring what Hadoop is, how it works, and how it can be used in a variety of applications. We'll also be discussing the benefits of using Hadoop and providing some real-world examples of how it's being used in practice. Whether you're a complete beginner or have some experience with the technology, this video will provide you with a clear and concise overview. So let's get started. Hadoop is a distributed computing system that is designed to handle and process large amounts of data. It consists of two primary components, Hadoop Distributed File System and MapReduce. Their key features include scalability, fault tolerance, and the ability to handle a variety of data types, including structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. In the context of AI, it is particularly useful for processing and analyzing large datasets that are necessary for machine learning algorithms. Its ability to handle massive amounts of data in a distributed environment makes it an ideal tool for training deep learning models on large datasets, which is essential for building robust AI systems. Its architecture consists of three main components, Hadoop Distributed File System, MapReduce, and Yarn. The Hadoop Distributed File System is responsible for storing and managing data across the Hadoop cluster, breaking data into smaller chunks and distributing them across nodes in the cluster. MapReduce provides a programming model for processing and analyzing these data chunks in parallel across the cluster. Yarn, on the other hand, is responsible for resource management and scheduling tasks across the Hadoop cluster. One of the key benefits of this architecture is its ability to handle large volumes of unstructured data, which is common in AI applications. Hadoop's distributed nature allows it to store and process large datasets efficiently, enabling machine learning algorithms to analyze and extract insights from these data. Additionally, Hadoop can integrate with a variety of data processing frameworks to provide additional functionality and flexibility for processing unstructured data. Overall, the architecture is designed to handle big data processing in a scalable, fault-tolerant manner, making it an ideal tool for processing large datasets in AI applications. The ecosystem consists of a wide range of tools and frameworks that can be used in conjunction with Hadoop to perform various data processing and analysis tasks. One popular tool is Apache Spark, which provides a fast and flexible data processing engine that can run on top of Hadoop. Spark can be used to perform machine learning tasks, such as clustering and classification, and is often used in conjunction with popular machine learning libraries, such as TensorFlow and Keras. Another tool commonly used in the Hadoop ecosystem is Hive, which provides a SQL-like interface for querying and analyzing data stored in Hadoop. Other tools and frameworks include Pig, which provides a high-level language for data analysis, and Base, a NoSQL database that can be used to store and manage large volumes of unstructured data. The platform has become increasingly popular in AI applications, providing a powerful software for processing and analyzing large volumes of data. It is being used for image and speech recognition in devices like Siri and Alexa to help recognize your voice. Hadoop can also be seen in IBM's natural language technology, which is used throughout a number of different industries, enabling machine learning algorithms to recognize patterns and make predictions based on natural language data. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on machine learning and related topics. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.